Hi, everybody. Uh, what? No. Apparently, I lost the rest of the video of me riveting in the front spar of the horizontal stabilizer. That's great. So here I am. I have the next section out, and I am working on cleaning up the ribs. Now there are two different types of ribs. There's uh, just a plain rib that goes between the two spars. So the way the horizontal stabilizer is set up is you see above my left shoulder over there the two uh, spars leaning up against the wall, primed, and somehow already have some pieces riveted to it. So there's uh, ribs that fit in between those two spars. Then out the front of the front spar are some nose ribs, and out of the back will be the elevators. Uh, in between those two spars are two different types of ribs. One is just a nice plain rib, and the second um, is uh, same length, but attaches to the uh, another stringer, another set of stringers that uh, will be cleaned out later. So the plain ribs that go uh, between the two, they're not too bad. Deburring them isn't too bad. Uh, however, the ribs that go with the stringer are kind of a pain in the butt. There I am with my uh, seaming tool. There's a few ribs that need to get modified. Some of the flanges have to be modified from a 90 degree angle, uh, plus or minus 10 to 12, depending on which ones you need. I believe the metal is 25 thousandths thick, so the ribs are 25 thousandths. So they're, they're not thin, but they're not very thick. Uh, you, you bend the flanges to roughly what they want. Uh, they're for a special set that go into the middle. And they don't need to be exact. I mean, the metal does give a little bit. And when you put this whole thing together, you do kind of, you know, like I said, everything is really stiff. So sometimes once you start clicking and riveting, everything kind of falls into place. So here I am mocking up what that looks like. You put the two modified... Uh, ribs in the center along with the two modified, so you modify two nose ribs and two center ribs. Um, this is so that it can create a an angle in between the front and the rear spar and like I said this is where the uh, horizontal stabilizer attaches to the uh, fuselage itself. Plus I believe that's also where the uh, uh, vertical stabilizer will attach as well. haven't looked that far ahead but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's got to be something like that. So here I'm also uh, attaching uh, the rest of the ribs that go along with the stringer in the center that you can see me putting in there. That's for strength and is very strong. This was actually just a little bit out of order, but I wanted to put it together just to make sure everything fit. As you can see, the vinyl's still on a lot of those parts. As I was avoid, I'm pretty sure at this time I was just avoiding doing some deburring and wanted to build something just to see. So here, doing a little bit of match drilling. Uh, those nose ribs don't have all the holes required for the uh, rivets. Now once you bend those ribs, uh, those now become permanently left or right and need to be marked as such. Don't be like me and lose your parts and have to, you know, decipher which one is which. Now from the looks of it, this is now going to be a nice long deburring session. So I'm going to let this play on out. I'm pretty sure this is just deburring for now in the next few videos. Um, coming up though, I get tired of deburring <laughs> by hand and uh, get a new tool to help. So we'll see that eventually. So see you in the next one.